Greetings, friends. It's your old crone, Yaya, and Amy. back for another thrift haul. Uh, we're wearing the same clothes as our last video because we're doing these on the same day. Because the last video was much more brief than we anticipated. The haul wasn't very much. It was mostly things that I collect on my own. I only had like, two things to sell. But uh, what we have today, I believe I got some at the flea market and some at the one of the thrift stores. But either way, let's get on with it. Okay, Amy, what we got first? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, I found this at one of the antique stores, actually. When you're shopping antique stores, you're really not going to find much for resale. But this particular one um, had a dollar section. So we rate it every time we go in there. We find some pretty good things to resell. I mean, this is not for resale. This, of course, goes with my little granny witch collection because I just thought she was adorable I mean I understand she's probably just a regular doll for a little girl but uh, somebody made this you can so tell and somebody loved it and painted its face and put this dress on it and everything and I just think it would be just adorable sitting in my kitchen as a kitchen witch mm -hmm. I love it okay so that was a dollar yeah I'm trying to go beyond just knickknacks. I'm trying to find things now that are um, uh, still in package. Uh, you know, I've even started buying some shoes and clothes, which I'll do a whole video on that soon. Um, but like this, I wouldn't normally even look at this. Multiplication bingo. But the box looked old and vintage. It was 99 cents. And I, look, I went through it and everything was there. I mean, it's been used. But everything's there. It's like a math bingo game. Please. Yeah, that's what I, <laughs> I thought, you know. And you know, it, like I said, it looks vintage. I think there was a date on it somewhere, 1980. So somebody might want that. Okay, what is that? Um, oh yeah, it's just a pretty little notebook for 99 cents, a little memo book. Uh, but it's uh, you know, like handmade paper. Uh, with a dried flower on it here. Just so pretty to have at your desk. And the paper feels so soft. Feel that, Amy? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like linen. And I love writing on this kind of paper. It takes the ink really well. So you, really, you want to use a nice pen when you write on these, not something cheap that's going to just bleed mm -hmm. onto that. So that was a really cute find. What else we got here? Okay, a flip. Uh, the only marking on this is USA stamped on the back. So as usual, I will have to do my research to figure out who made this. But it does have a gorgeous blue and green flower pattern on the inside. And it's very deep. It's like a pie plate, if mm -hmm. you ask me. It not a, not like a, a dinner plate. Guess, uh, yeah, I believe it's a pie plate. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to assume that it's oven proof if it's a pie plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that did not have a uh, price tag on it. I think I paid a dollar for that. This was a dollar. Do you remember this? Yeah, yeah. I remember that show. I was going to say that. <laughs> when Emmy was just a baby, we used to spend a lot of time watching um, Dora the Explorer mm -hmm. and Nihao Thailand. Love, love her. Love show. this show. The, the animation of that show as well as it being educational, just the animation in and of itself, the characters were just adorable, mm -hmm. weren't they? Just adorable. So this one is a stand-up centerpiece by Nickelodeon. Um, assembled, it's like 24 inches high, so that's two feet. So it's a nice size. And I would say it's for Chinese New Year because it is the dragon. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. That, I don't know whether to save this for next year's Chinese New Year or try to sell it. We'll see. <laughs> so cute. Oh, and I found these vintage trick-or-treat bags. They were only 79 cents. And this was um, put out by Fun World. Uh, I thought I had seen a date on these, but they dated back to the 1990. 80s. 1995? Okay, there we go. So if it's vintage, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it was the character on it that was just so cute. The little scarecrow with the pumpkin. 
very vintage and retro. And in package, this looks very much from, this one has a date of 1986 on it. It was 99 cents. The Talking Toast. You press it into your bread and then put it in the toaster. And of course your toast is going to come out with it reading, I love you, inside of a heart on it. It's cute. So cute, yeah. Sorry, the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> oh no, my glasses. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> All right, a bicentennial plate. This was a dollar ninety nine. No other markings on it. Uh, it reads National Bicentennial Celebration, seventeen seventy six to nineteen seventy six, Dalton, Whitfield County, Georgia, and it has images of a Native American, some um, uh, buildings. Main Street and a locomotive, that type of thing on there. So I know there are bicentennial collectors out there who are probably going to be interested in that. I buy most everything I see bicentennial. I'll, I'll get it. Okay, this was 99 cents. Take that off so you can see the picture good. In a frame. It's older. You see that it has the little brad nails on the back. You can tell that's older. Okay, now this is was interesting because if you look closely at it, it's not only um, painted, but the buildings, this little house, and these two huts down here are made from wood, like a, a little slice of wood. So I thought that was very interesting. There is an artist mark, but I absolutely cannot make out the signature down here. I'll have to study on that, but I would say it's an it's a probably Asian. I mean the the scenery is definitely mm -hmm. Asian. Uh, there is a one dollar price tag on the back that reads bric-a-brac, and so I'm not sure where this came from, who originally sold it. I'll have to do research on that. I don't know why there's even a string on there. I think at one time somebody who previously owned it had it strung up that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think there's all these cups. Okay. Did, did I? How many did I get of these? I think I was missing two or something. I'll go ahead and talk about this while you find the other. This is one of those um, pinch mouth. Uh, I guess you would say pitcher. I guess you would use this as a pitcher. Not necessarily a base because of the way it is pinched at the top. There is a mark on the bottom, stamped Potter's Hand. I'll have to look that company up and see when this was probably made. I mean, it's old, older. It's old, but not that old, I would say. So, but it has. It's gorgeous. It has this beautiful hand painted trees and nature background about six inches tall so they, that will definitely be listed soon it was only five of them yeah. okay yeah it always works out that way there's always one missing and i swear that's why they get donated because one breaks and they're like Ugh, mm -hmm. i don't want it anymore if i have a broken one i have the perfect caddy for this that it holds eight glasses exact uh, actually and so I'm on the lookout for three more of these to make a complete set, and I will sell it all together. These are in really good condition to be as old as they are, and they are Libby. These were $99 a piece. Uh, the frosted with leaves, different types of leaves pattern. Great condition. I'm not going to list those until I find three more of them, though in the exact same size. I have found other glasses in that pattern that were shaped differently or they were shorter or taller. And not, no, right, they have to match. What's the point? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what we got here? $2.99, one, two, three, four, five bowls. And these are Homer Laughlin. Pretty sure it's the restaurant where. Homer Laughlin, best something. USA QC. Um, let me take this off. Let's see if I can see it better.
Best China. Mm -hmm. Homer Laughlin Best China. Uh, they're really pretty, really sturdy restaurant wear. Has the gold and gray stripe inside with the scalloped edge. I love restaurant wear. It's it's so hardy. It stands up mm -hmm. to, you know, being abused. That's why they made it. Ooh, that one's got a slight little chip on it right there. It's so hard to tell that when everything's taped together. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, my dog is just going crazy. He's so, he got a hold of a piece of the wrapping paper. <laughs> yeah, you better get it from him. Oh. That's my dog, Bandit. He is <laughs> Australian Shepherd and Border Collie. And we just got him back in January, I think it was. January or February. I can't remember exactly, but he's precious. We got him to help around the homestead since we finally got some chickens and some other things going on around here. We were excited to get a dog. There's another time. No, that's a manufacturer's mark, I think. I mean, a mistake right there. Okay, so five bowls, one with a tiny chip on it, but they'll still, they'll still be good. But man, shipping them together, that's heavy. That's probably at least three pounds, if not more. So I may sell these individually. Of course, I mean, people are welcome to buy as many as they want, but I think it's just easier to sell them individually as replacements. All right, we got a few mugs here. What do we got? Oh, yeah, the old, an old McDonald's milk glass mug. $1.99, but I think I paid half price for that. This is Fire King, Anchor Hawking. Um, oven proof, made in USA, number 33. Uh, it reads, it has the McDonald's logo with the sun shine, and the sun is saying good morning. So this is great for people who collect McDonald's stuff. Believe it or not, people do collect old McDonald's stuff. I, it almost makes me wish I had kept everything out of the Happy Meals, or even when I was a teenager, I worked at McDonald's, you know, just like most teenagers, you end up working at fast food as your first job. Uh, and so, you know, I encourage everybody who has kids to let them work at a fast food place when they are teenagers because they will learn so many life lessons by doing that. might not learn much about business, but they'll definitely learn about customer service and working as a team and, uh, you know, how hard that kind of job is. So, um, yeah, what, maybe one day in a few years you'll be working at one. Who knows, honey? Just for the experience. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this was 99 cents as well. This was from uh, UNICEF. UNICEF put this out. UNICEF, um, made in China. And it has the UNICEF uh, logo on there. And of course, it is just, um, I would say it's a Christmas cup because this has snowflakes all around the top. And the children are dressed mostly in winter garments. But I love the children on this. Aren't they adorable? They're all just so happy and smiling and holding hands. And that's the way the world should be, you know? I just love it. Yep, and there is definitely a dog lover out there who has a German short hair pointer that definitely wants this mug, I'd say. <laughs> it's a beautiful mug. This is raised on here, but then it's a great portrait of that, that type of dog. It's beautiful. Excellent condition. Made by Express, Best Friend Originals 2002. That should be listed pretty quickly. I'm so behind on my listings, guys. It's just unbelievable. I have probably a thousand items I need to list, yeah. you know? I mean, it's getting close to that. And it's hard to do it by myself. Yeah. Okay, this is... Uh, it has a marking on here that reads Bay and then a word I cannot read. C-E-R-A-B-A-K is what it looks like. Germany... Uh, it, yeah, there's, but I think that's that's not the, when it was made. I think that's more maybe just a mold number or something. Yeah, and anyway, um, it's beautiful. I love the shape. 
and it does have a hole to hang it on the wall and then the bottom of it is just gorgeous the bottom of it's prettier than the other side of it um this is this motif here is just beautiful and then it does have these little feet on it so you can you can actually use it of course uh so it'll keep your table safe uh from and this has hearts a heart motif going all the way around no chips or cracks just just beautiful um what did i pay for that did i already pull the sticker off and not pay yeah. attention <laughs> i think it was two dollars okay well, what would he have Oh yes, this is made by Red Wing. Red Wing piece of party pottery. It was $3.99. And it is a serving dish, of course. And I say it's like a cream color with speckles of red, a reddish color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not bright red but it's in perfect condition. Very heavy, very heavy. Yeah, that will be pricey for shipping, that's for sure. Oh, this is actually, <laughs> Cora was with us, Coco was with us when we went shopping on this trip. She picked this out to keep at our homestead mm -hmm. to drink out of. She oh. wants her own cup, so gotta put that in the kitchen. Oh, so this is an, isn't it? It's adorable little Peter Rabbit from Beatrice Potter. Let's see, they had $4.99 on this. It is the mug, the bowl, and the saucer. I don't know. I don't know if I can get this off of here without scissors. I know. Why are we not more prepared, Amy? <laughs> there we go. Keep going. Sorry, folks. I know. I can't stand it when people waste time doing this, and here I am doing it myself. You just never know what's going to come out of the boxes when I have just let them sit for a while. And I know that whole no dead piles rule of being a reseller, but when you're as busy trying to take care of a homestead, such and stay strong and healthy um that's, that's just the way it goes all right let's start with the mug for your christening oh i did not even realize that it's a christening set just beautiful got peter rabbit on there look at the bunch of rabbits together on that side isn't that cute Aww, that okay on the bottom it reads the world of beatrix potter peter rabbit uh that's a, a logo then um, Frederick Warren and Company, 2002, Wedgwood. So this is Wedgwood. Very cute. Uh, reads for your christening all the way around on that one. And then here's Peter in the bowl, looking so cute. So I know that's specific being for a christening, but uh, I knew somebody was going to love that, especially it being Wedgwood. I'm going to work on Okay, that. you work on that one, and I'll do these two things. This was $1.99. <coughs> it's marked USA. I'm pretty sure it is either Hull McCoy or... Uh, um, Shawnee, maybe. I'm not sure. It's heavy. It's not exactly yellow, but it's a off-white, yellowish sugar bowl. You can always use it as a butter dish, butter bowl too. In excellent condition. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely have to bring scissors out here okay these I think I'm going to keep a set of three that were 99 cents a piece uh, see how deep these bowls are and they're very heavy uh, beautiful beautiful white glaze to them and on the bottom there reads uh, Portugal and then Cicla S-E-C-L-A I'm going to say that is pronounced Cicla and then a S insignia on the bottom 
And one of the reasons I got these and I'm going to keep them is because the deep, the depth of them are perfect for ramen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we, we were thinking about the grandchildren and how they love to eat ramen when they come over to the homestead. And these are, are going to be perfect ramen bowls for the grandbabies. Oh, I'm running out of room over here. Okay, what we got going on? You about got it done? Yeah, I got it done. All right, um, this is a whole little set. I took the price off because it okay. was on there. It's three ninety nine. Oh, there it's still on the bottom oh. of that one, so it's fine. Okay, these are measuring cups actually. We got one cup, half cup, quarter cup, eighth of cup, and they are Japan. Yes, this one has Japan sticker. It's four dollars for the set. Uh, this one has some uh, chipping on the bottom right here, but it's the brown drip. Uh, other than that, let's see. Let's look quickly. It's so hard to tell when things are taped together like that. Yeah. I mean, I still would have bought it, even though there's a chip on that one. I still would have bought it because it's so unusual. Mm -hmm. This has a little wear on it too. Tiny little flea bite right there, and this one, I'd say is fantastic too. Yeah. So what a cute find. Just adorable. Love it. Somebody's really going to enjoy that, I do believe. If I don't keep it for myself. <laughs> okay, this was $4. And it's milk glass. And I have not looked up this company yet, but the bottom reads Termocrisa, T-E-R-M-O-C-R-I-S-A. And there is an insignia which looks like a tree inside of a square. Is mm -hmm. that what you see? Yeah. Is it that a word? Crisa. It, yeah. it says Crisa. Yeah. C-R-I-S-A. Okay, so I'll have to do research on how old this is, what it was used for, which it looks to me like candy dish. Or sugar bowl. It's kind of big for a sugar bowl, but it's beautiful. Gold around the edge still looks fantastic. And then the transfer wear on there of a flower and leaves in a red and brown colors. Double handle. So this is beautiful. Just beautiful. Perfect condition. Aren't those awesome? And yeah. I, I'm not into nautical things at all. But I know a lot of people are, and I respect that, of course, you know. Everybody loves what they love. Mm -hmm. So I don't really normally even see these things in our area, being in the south like this. We're nowhere near the coast, really. Um, but I thought these were just beautiful. The shape is just fantastic, how it mm -hmm. goes from wide to narrow, and then it has all kinds of ships on there. And these were 99 a piece. Let's see if they're marking on the bottom. Yes, they're Libby. Okay, good. Great find. Mm -hmm. Since they're especially since they're a pair. This is my favorite. You like that? Ever. It's yeah, like so the. Pretty. It's like I I don't know what it is about egg plates. They just keep popping up, and I have. So I have probably sure. six of them, and we joke about it because our family is so big. We eat a lot of deviled eggs when we get together. Yeah. <laughs> so. I don't know. Egg things are always on our mind. Plus the fact that my our, youngest daughter, mm -hmm. her mom, Spring Rain, is um, has a lot of chickens 11, and yeah, now. and with um, twelve baby chicks. Twelve baby chicks. And they process like at least eight eggs a day. Yeah. So we get a lot of eggs. Yeah. So um, it's almost like your mom has started uh, collecting egg things too because mm -hmm. she has to. She has yeah. to have somewhere to put the eggs. But this one is just adorable. Um, there is a copyright stamp on the back which reads Lego. Does that look like Lego to yeah. you? L-E-G-O in cursive. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, but it's it's beautiful, isn't it? Ceramic, mm -hmm. hang it on the wall. 99 cents and this will hold a dozen. Well, no, you know what? See how these are round instead mm -hmm. of oval? I almost guarantee you a salt and pepper shaker went right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So then that means it would only hold 10 halves. Mm. But it's still gorgeous, still beautiful. Mm -hmm. okay. I love things like that. Okay, isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> this is the Great Mustaches Cup. 
and there is 14 different mustaches pictured on here all numbered and even then when you go to the bottom of it it tells you what kind of mustaches these are oh no it tells you who they belonged to mm. like the first one albert this one einstein. albert einstein right second one was salvador dolly and so so on and so forth it reads the unemployed philosophers guild mm. <laughs> Uh, great mustaches. It's got a date on there, 2012, uh, from Brooklyn, New York. So it's not old at all, but I just know how uh, some people just love mustache things. So I just had to pick that up. It's got a great shape to it as well. It's not just, it, it has a curvature to it almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay. This is a wall hanging trivet. It's got little uh, felt feet on it to protect your surface, uh, but it's a ceramic trivet, and on the back it reads, Made in Japan, made expressly for federated department stores, which I've never heard of them. I'll have to look that up. It doesn't look old, does it? It, it doesn't even look like it's ever been used hardly. There's just a little slight bit of wear on the back, and that might have been from just being hung on the wall, but the front is just in absolutely perfect condition. And I'm going to guess this is transfer wear. Pretty sure. But it has beautiful colors and a beautiful scene on the front. $1.99 for that. Okay, $3. $2.99 for this. Um, I, it's a tart plate, but it has these gorgeous birds. What are those? Are those finches or chickadees or something like that? It looks like they're on pine branches. Mm -hmm. It definitely looks like pine. Okay, the back reads, Songbird, Oven to Table, Fine China, 1976, Oresco, E-R-E-S-C-O. And there's a little bit of wear on the back, but the front is in perfect condition. Just perfect. No, no, mm -mm. just lovely. Just so beautiful, and it's just that old. That's awesome. I don't think these are together, but um, there's shakers. Uh, they're not shakers. They're just little figurines that I just thought were old and adorable. This one's Mark Japan. Mm -hmm. It's a little doggy. Cute little face on him. He looks a little sad. He's got brown and black spots. This one was $1.99. Uh, $1.99 for the little squirrel. That off of there so you can see it better. It has an actual furry tail to it mm -hmm. and ceramic. I think I might, uh, no, these were at the thrift store. Yes. Uh, just look at that little face. Just adorable. And it, it's not marked on the bottom, but I'm assuming it's Japan as well. Just a cute little figurine. Okay. So adorable. Isn't that though? It's, it's, little jar, it's the little mason jar. And at first I thought this might have been just an old salt or pepper shaker that was missing the lid, but they're not shaped this way. The shakers that I have seen, they're not shaped this way and they definitely don't have the measurements on there. This yes. had measurement on there. And it was only 49 cents. It's a cute little find. Okay, what's this mug? Okay, this I would say was probably from the 80s at least, maybe even older. Um, no markings, but it was cute on the front. It reads, if mother says no, ask grandma, and then has grandma in the rocking chair with a cat in her lap, and she's knitting. What we always assume grandmas look like. Not necessarily <laughs> so, huh, honey? <laughs> oh, okay, what's next? Okay. And we have a nice serving bowl that is marked Japan on the bottom. Definitely hand painted. If you can see, this is a carrot on the inside. $1.99 we paid for this. This is brown. Great condition. Not feeling anything wrong with it. So that's a good find, too. Okay. Hey, Bandy. Uh, here is another Homer Laughlin restaurant plate. Um, a scalloped edge to it. This was only 99 cents. Uh, I would say these are little flowers. 
going around the edge. Browns and orange. Really cute. For a dollar, definitely cute. Okay. I'm getting things mixed up over here. Let's do it. This one was $1.99. And let's see. This is... On the bottom it reads Portland Pottery, Regal Works, Cobridge, made in, does that read England? Made yeah. in England? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, on one side it reads God Speed the Plow, and then it has all types of agricultural instruments on it, and a man and a woman from what looks like colonial times she's churning butter and on the other side it reads industry produceth wealth hmm okay <laughs> in the, a little ribbon right here and then there's like a little I did not see this before I think uh, Wafuna must have picked this up because I did not remember seeing this but it is in great shape and it's obviously very old Okay, on this side it reads, Let the wealthy and great roll in splendor and state. Envy them not, I declare it. I eat my own lamb, my own chickens and ham. I shear my own fleece and I wear it. I have lawns, I have bowers. I have fruits, I have flowers. The lark is my morning alarmer. So jolly boy now, here God speed the plow. Long life and success to the farmer. Okay, so it's giving tribute to a farmer. And obviously it's a little cream pitch pitcher or something. Wow, I really like that. <laughs> I didn't even notice it before, really. Okay, the last item. And it is milk glass uh, liquor bottle, I would say. It was $2. It has this scene of the Boston Tea Party on front. And then on the back is the eagle with the shield. And of course, it's missing its stopper that it had at one point. That is not chips. That's the way that was made. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up. But other than that, there's no chips or cracks yeah, on it. Yeah, I thought those were chips. And on the bottom, it reads Americana, uh, Boston Tea Party. Mm, the rest of it is really hard to make out. This, this right here, can you read that? Um by Lawrence, okay. Lawrence Butcher, J, um, I, I think that's a quart, because this looks like a quart jar. What what date is that, 1960? 1968? 68? Maybe. 64, really 68, I can't tell. Yeah, because it's just in, you know, embossed on there. Um, but it's it's got great features. It's heavy, just fantastic find. And somebody who loves the American Revolution which I do. <laughs> um, well, they're really going to like that. That'd be great to find for them. And that was the last of it? Okay, great. All right, folks. Thank you once again for joining us. Please subscribe and like. And as always, we wish you good health, well-being, and financial freedom from Moon Hill Vintage.